what's up everyone welcome back if you're new here welcome i'm chris so i've got my britis haul here this was from a pre-order i don't remember the date it was maybe six eight weeks ago and i'm really excited about this this was i believe the first time she's ever dipped her toe into doing pre-orders because britta's creepy treasures used to pretty much only do ready to ship and it was getting to be she's getting very popular so when she had her restocks it was hard to get anything any of the new pores she had new blends and um she decided to go ahead and start doing pre-orders which i for one love because <clears throat> like most of us we have plenty of wax it's really not a big deal to wait six to eight weeks i mean the first couple days you're kind of like oh i can't wait i can't wait but then you kind of forget about it like i've already forgotten what's in this box so i'm really excited to open it and um see what everything smells like because there's a lot of new blends in here and some different things and some old favorites that i got in larger sizes so yeah i'm really excited so without further further see i can't even talk without further ado let's go ahead and get started <music> All right, so I went ahead and I opened the box. I got all the packing peanuts out, but I wanted to show you how lovely the package comes. Everything is all wrapped nicely. Um, on top, it had all those, the styrofoam uh, packing peanuts. We got a pen. She always puts a pen in her um, uh, orders. That's what they're called. It's called an order. And there's like a little wax protector on the, the tip of the pen. So you just pull that off and it's good to go. Fantastic pens. I love the pens. We got a couple samples. Very cute. Looks a little ghosty. And some tombstones. So Britta's Creepy Treasures is owned by Britta Smith. Um, her husband also... Um, is part of the business as well. She is based out of Ohio and I started ordering, it was about last year, late, late summer. I started ordering from Britta. Look how beautiful it's packaged, right? And, um, this is probably my largest order because whenever I went to order, <laughs> For the life of me, I could not navigate that website fast enough to get what everything I was going in for. And this last pre-order, this this last uh, restock she did was really tough. I mean, I had my list, and by the time I got to the checkout, I had there was one thing left. So she was and i wasn't alone there's you know other people as well same problem and she was kind enough and thought you know what maybe it's time i switch my business model to rts or pre-orders and i believe that worked out quite well for her um because people were able to order more and you know get what they wanted and, you know, in, in essence, I think, I would think if I was a vendor, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about, you know, taking orders and pouring wax and all that. Um, I would think this would be, like, easier because then you already know ahead of time what you got to pour. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I certainly appreciate it. Um, I love Britta's wax. She does unique um type scents that are different and i love her aesthetic is fun and like i said these cute shapes now with the pre-orders it's souffles and loaves only but you can go online and there's all kinds of cute horror type halloweeny type shapes and 
she usually models all her wax names and stuff after horror movies and monsters and psychopaths and whatnot. It's, it's just fun. It's just a fun vibe and I think it's really clever and um, I quite enjoy it. So, like I said, everything is packaged up. All the wax is wrapped in tissue. It just arrives beautiful. All right, let's start with the samples. This little ghosty here. Look how cute. This is Mona, and it's lavender, lavender, cashmere cream, and sweet and creamy. Don't mind the look today. I'm au naturel because I had my grandson. I had to take him home, and I wanted to get my house cleaned. Yeah, I wasn't putting makeup on, so... All right, let's take a smell of this one. And this was poured on 5-6. I love that she puts the pour dates on here. That's, I, I'm a big fan of that because when the pour date's on there, I gotta write everything on there when I received it. And I'm lazy. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I wanna say it's an herbal lavender, but it's kind of like herbal and sweet, if that makes sense. So it's it's nice because it's not real. I find that herbal lavenders and um, essential oil type lavender, to me, it's medicinal. It's it's antiseptic, and I don't care for that. This is nice. This is a mixture of an herbal and a sweet. That's pretty. So. The cashmere cream and the sweet and creamy. The cashmere cream is giving it a little bit of a woodsiness to it. And that sweet and creamy is making it nice and creamy and sweet, um, like vanilla. And then you've got the lavender there. This is really super pretty. I like this one very much. I love samples. I appreciate samples because it helps you smell things maybe you wouldn't order necessarily or try something new. And it's just, it's helpful. These little cute tombstones. These are called um, Bigfoot. Look how cute they are. I just, I love, the, I love the shapes. Okay, Bigfoot is banana walnut cake, Danish butter cookies, and sugar cookie royale. And this was poured on 5-1. I do let, just like any other wax, I let it cure. Um, the only, so far, the only vendor I let cure one year, or really close to a year, is Teddy B's. Britta, maybe a month, and then I'll start digging into it. Okay, this is, okay, let me, let me sit with this a minute. You do get that walnut cake um, scent here. Absolutely. Getting the cake. The sugar cookies and the butter cookies. Um, the banana is a little bit on the runty side. Um, which I don't particularly care for. But, however, I think banana in general across the board is a tough scent to get an actual ripe banana smell. I don't think it's a scent that's easily... Um, replicated in oils so to me this is like um now if you're going to make a banana bread right you use ripe bananas that are pretty brown and you make your banana bread but there's other ways you can make banana because there's banana flavoring and that's artificial and I, that's what's coming off in here is the banana is that type of banana like a, the artificial flavoring type no shade on Brita at all. I mean, it's it, that is what it is. That's the nature of that oil. However, because there's so much, there's such a good amount of sugar cookie in the butter cookies here, 
that I believe, I don't know, but in my mind, in my nose, is telling me that there's a very good chance that when this, this is melted, that the sweetness of the cookie and the nuttiness of the, of the walnuts in here could very well bring that banana down a bit and make it more true to life scent. It smells really good. It really does. Yeah, I'm looking forward to melting that again. I will probably wait at least a month for all of this, if not longer. I mean, I already have other Brita scents that are older, so I may try to warm more of that and then cycle, then filter these ones in. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the order. Okay, so this first one here is The Night She Disappeared. I'm trying not to make a mess of this beautiful tissue. I mean, if I want to mail something out to a friend, we got tissue paper. Reuse it. Okay, The Night She Disappeared. There you go. Again, everything comes beautiful. It looks pristine and new. Um, the night she disappeared is sugared amber, plum, sugared amber and plum, plus barnwood and pink sugar. And this was poured on 5.8. So these are all pretty freshly poured. Oh, that's pretty. This is really nice. I love the barn wood. Um, it's not heavy, so it's not like you're going to be like, oh, really, barn wood? No, it's, it's like um, you get this really nice sweet wood note. Well, I say sweet, but that's probably the sugared amber and pink sugar and plum that's in here. So... This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh gosh, I love this. I'm trying to get it out without making a mess. Because you know, it looks so pretty. And I don't know why I'm like that. I, I But I'm such a weirdo when it comes to making it keeping my wax looking nice <laughs> I mean it's got to be cut right but still so I'm just trying to release the edges a little bit so I can smell the bottom it's important to smell the bottom I find that oils certain oils the scents will fall to the bottom like heavier oils you know, heavier scent notes or whatnot, they'll fall to the bottom. Yeah, that's just kind of make this a little neater. Okay. Yeah. So you get this beautiful, um, sweet perfumey note, but not crazy perfume like you know um you know some perfumes are heavier this is very light a light i don't mean light and scent i mean a light perfume you get the amber which is warming it up a bit again and it's sugared amber the plum is adding a nice sweetness to it and then there's that barn wood giving it just a little bit of hint of a wood wood note this is beautiful. I absolutely love this. I'm going to pick up all these little flakes because I don't waste anything. Even these little crumbs, right, are precious. Put that back in there, right back in the tin. I'll close that up a little bit so that it doesn't slide out. So that is the night she disappeared, and it's lovely, really lovely. Oh yeah, 
I like how I could smell the plum in here. It's a nice, sweet plum. Fresh. Very fresh, sweet plum. That's beautiful. Look at me. I'm such a mess. I didn't even take time to do any makeup. That's okay. You know, it's Monday. It is Memorial Day. The day off today. Um, and again, like I think I mentioned it in my last video, which I don't know when, I don't know when any of these videos are going up. Um, you know, it's just, it's an important holiday. It's, it's one where we should remember those that served our country and gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom and our livelihoods, right? You know, just. I think all too often they go on, they go for, they go forgotten and it's sad. Okay. The next one here. I love British creations. She takes oils crazy oil sometimes and mixes them and it's like oh you know it's just different she's very different she's unique and she has her own her own vibe and I absolutely love that okay this next one is called ghost ship and it is pink lemonade pear and champagne toast love pear scents okay just pear scents are just beautiful See what this one is. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, this is like that pink lemonade. The pink lemonade and the pear almost give it. A candy like. Um, that lemon and pear together is really, really special. This is very strong. I'm not even sure I need to take this out. Look how pretty. See how smooth. God, it's gorgeous. This is pretty. And you do get that champagne toast here slightly. It's just, this is really pretty. I love lemonade. I love pear. Oh gosh. It smells like a like a nice um sparkly drink. It's, it's pretty. It's very nice. Okay, this is one of the ones I really, really wanted. And it was one of the ones I jumped my cart. Um, so what had happened was all the ones that jumped my cart, I was able to get in the pre-order and then I ordered more because I could. <laughs> I said, well, since I can get it, I might as well try it. All right. So this is Wicker Man and Wicker Man is Beach Nights, Pretzel and Fire Roasted Marshmallow. These scent notes are just everything. Brutus has a very nice beach nights. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The first thing I got, the very first thing was that pretzel. It's a nice salty pretzel. Very salty. And then I got the beach nights came right in behind it. Wow, that is amazing. This is beautiful absolutely love this stunning stunning blend I've got to pop it out I, I just got to so we've got fire roasted marshmallow here let's see if we can get that to come through and I'm gonna do that by popping this out and I'm making the wax look ugly and that's really sad because they're so pristine looking be something wrong with me. So let's take off the little edges. 
When I say edges, as you know, it's a souffle cup, so it kind of makes a little edge on it. All right. I love the texture of Brita's wax. It's not real soft, it's not real hard, it's just, it's perfect. It cuts beautifully, there's no microwaving needed. You just get your little cheese cutter and right down. Oh God. Down below, I could smell more of the fire, ro fire roasted marshmallows. So you get this little bit of a toasty, um, fiery, not fiery, a little, ever so slightly, um, I don't want to say smoky. Smoky's not the right word. You could smell a fire roasted marshmallow. It's, it's a sweet, fiery, oh my God. You guys, this is so beautiful. In the beach night, so you get this beautiful salty sea air. You get the marshmallow in there. Oh my God. But that pretzel, how it's unique. It, it makes you feel like you're on the boardwalk and you got, you know, at the ocean. You're on the boardwalk and you got yourself a salted pretzel and you're walking along and you got that ocean breeze and people are on the beach. Maybe they got a little bonfire going. They're toasting marshmallows and it's, mm, this is good. I got to get my crumbs and sweep those into the cup. So good. Hey, this is. I wish I got this in a loaf, but that's okay because I'll tell you why. If you really super, super, super love a scent, right? Let's just say you're insane for it and you want three loaves of it. She does customs. So you could request it and have it poured for you. Obviously, there's going to be turnaround time on that. I don't know what her turnaround time is because I've never done a customs order with Brita's Creepy Treasures. Um, it's probably a minimum eight weeks. So you can keep that in mind. And that's Wicker Man. And let me tell you something. This is a gorgeous scent. I mean, yeah. That Beach Nights with that pretzel, it... Mm, fantastic okay so then we've got Emily and Emily is beach nights boom boom and strawberry pound cake it's gorgeous Beach nights, s'mores, salty sea air, marshmallows, toasted marshmallows, the strawberry pound cake is nice in here. It's remember I've said I've started to mention this in my videos that I am not a huge strawberry pound cake fan. Don't hate it by any means. I'm just not over the moon. Okay, like when I see scents that have Palo Santo in it, it's an automatic buy for me, right? Because I, that's, that's, a, that's an oil I love. Beach Nights, automatic buy, I love it. Um, smoky Notes, tobacco. When I see Strawberry Pound Cake, I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe I'll get it. I don't know. Um because I'm just not it's not in scent note that I'm like oh I love it I gotta have it so beach nights gotta have it but what I'm really liking here is the strawberry pound cake is present 
I'm not going to take this one out. I don't have to. I can pretty much smell it all right from the bag. Strawberry pound cake's present, but it's not the center stage. Okay, it's not the main attraction here. The main attraction in this is the beach nights. To my nose. And it's it's beautiful. Her beach night, she has a beautiful beach nights. Um, I don't know if she has her own beach nights oil or if it's just an oil that she orders. Some vendors do have their own beach nights oil. This is pretty. I just I get that beautiful toasty roasted marshmallows, s'mores, sea salt air. The Boom Boom is present. It's adding that warmth to it with the caramel notes. Um, what's Boom Boom again? It's caramel and pistachio and it's a fragrance on its own, right? It's this blend is beautiful. It's beautifully done. Um, again, we got Beach Nights as the star here, and it's accompanied by a very nice, subtle strawberry pound cake. A little heavier Boom Boom. Boom Boom is a little stronger than the strawberry pound cake, and I'm there for that. Because you can pick up that hint of a strawberry there. This is... Yeah, Emily. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's open up our next trio. I think she packed them in threes. And like I said, don't remember what the hell I ordered. I just know it was a pre-order, and I was just like, yeah, I'm in. In fact, she just had another pre-order not long ago, and um, I went a little nuts. Something, <laughs> there was one set in the last pre-order. I ordered it three times because I kept forgetting I ordered it already. So I got three of those coming. <laughs> so what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Yeah, I kept going back in. Okay, this one is Toby. And Toby is roasted pine cones, crackling birch, and blue sugar. Okay. I love roasted pine cones. It's another scent note that I have a hard time saying no to. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, you do get the blue sugar in here. But when you add that roasted pine cone note and the um, the crackling birch, oh, wow. So crackling birch is like, it's birch wood, but it's um, smokier. Oh, this is so pretty. Roasted pine cones, crackling birch, and blue sugar. Now, this sounds like something. Oh, well, gee, that sounds like a fall scent. You could do this one year round. I could. This has a cool summer evening smell to me. Sitting around a um, a fire without the smoke. There's not. It's not smoky. It's very woodsy. But the blue sugar makes it, it brightens it up a little bit. It's adding that, um, it's almost like a lemony um, pine note without being overly pine. So it's kind of, yeah, this feels like a cooler summer night. You're camping, so there's lots of trees around you and you got a campfire going with no smoke. This is fantastic. Fantastic. The, mm, okay, so, so far, these are all scents that I would definitely, I mean, these will get added to my spreadsheet. These would be definitely reorders for me. Um, I would think that... I don't know. Let's... 
I don't know how much these weigh. I can't remember. So far, these are pretty strong, with the exception of Wickerman, that had more of a, um, a little bit of a softer scent. Same thing with Emily. That I might do, that might take a whole souffle in my open area of the house. These other ones, though, they're pretty, um, pretty strong. Hannah Crenna. This is Palo Santo Pink Sugar and Roasted Pine Cones. So this is like Toby's sister. Okay, the roasted pine cones in this one is lighter. Um, oh God, this is pretty. You get the pink sugar here. So pink sugar is, I'm having a hard time remembering what pink sugar is. Is it like that cotton candy perfume? So you get the pink sugar the Palo Santo and the roasted pine cones. It's just making that pink sugar more, um, a little earthier. Um, this one slipped out really nice. I didn't even have to break the edges. Again, I would warm this year round. Roasted pine cones and the Palo are just complementing the pink sugar. bringing it's given it a little bit of an earthiness to it a little bit more outdoorsiness to it it's stunning absolutely beautiful okay that's Hannah Crana let's move on to T virus is a library in Epson and I should have looked up and this was poured on 515. I should have looked up the scent note for absinthe because I have forgotten what it is. Yeah, I forgot. I know I like it. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You get that library scent like books and that's very interesting to me and then that absinthe is there it's like um it's not minty it's um I think what I'm going to do is I am going to pause this video and I am going to get the set note of what absinthe is so that I can better, oh, my nose, I can better um, tell you the vibe I'm getting from it. And this is nice. I like that library. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. So. All right, yes, this smells like what I'm reading here. It's a very green, fresh, and almost soapy. And supposedly it has a hint of like anise in here or black licorice. I don't pick up anise or black licorice I do pick up a mintiness without being mint there's a mintiness to it but library in that type of note that it really smells like an old library it's fresh but yet dusty like old books in paper it's quite interesting 
and I could see this as being a nice transition into fall. Yes, there is a slight mintiness to it in fresh green. This is nice. It's, it's different. It's so different. And I love the library in here because it, 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 it evokes that feeling of old books. It's mysterious. It's a little spooky. So yeah, I could see this going into the fall season. Yeah, absolutely love it. It's different and I like different. I like things that are unique. I like things that when people come into my house, they're kind of like, what is that? Like, what is that smell? It's different. I'm, yeah. So, let's put this aside. Let's go to our next trio. And again, that was called T-Virus. Another one I was hoping for. Yep. I can't tell you. Britta, if you happen to watch this video, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for starting pre-orders because it's just for me, it's a lifesaver. I just not a lifesaver. Come on, we're talking about wax here, right? It's not gonna save our lives. It just makes our lives easier less stressful okay so this one is called Caleb and this is hipster barnwood and sweet and creamy I am so excited to smell this one so excited oh this is fabulous oh my gosh absolutely Oh, God, that's nice. <coughs> so nice. One second. Okay. I'm loving that barn wood. Man, that's amazing. I do not know what's in Hipster. Um, I feel like, okay, this is very earthy to me. Um, that barn wood is phenomenal. It's so, now, is there a little patchouli in here? This is gorgeous. It's earthy. It's got that wood note in here. It's just... It almost... It almost has a breadiness to it. Maybe that's the sweet and creamy? I don't know. Would sweet and creamy mix with barn wood and give it like a breadiness to it? It almost has a bready note. This is good. It's not like, okay, so it says they're sweet and creamy. Don't let that fool you. It's not like a sweet um, bakery at all. It's, it's like a creamy, earthy scent. And the, the barn wood is just, it just giving it that wood, wood note, but it's like a sweet wood. Not like cedar or sandalwood. It's just a sweet wood. This is, oh my God. <sighs> Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm just, whatever that hipster is, is beautiful. So if anybody knows what is in hipster, let me know because that's, I like it very much. 
The next one is the Bookish Babysitter. I think I'm going to like this one very much too because it has that library in it. So it's library, steel sugar, and Mrs. Claus cookies. I wonder what, what is steel sugar? Does anybody know what steel sugar is? This smells like something. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this one. What does this smell like? What does that smell? There's a smell here. I don't know what it is. I'm not getting too much of that library here. This smells like something to me. You know what this smells like to me? And I don't want to, I don't want, I'm not trying, I'm not putting the scent down at all. This is again, my nose, how I'm interpreting, how I'm reading it. Oil. Oil paints. You know those paint by numbers with the oil? The, the, it came and it would come with strips with little pots that you would open and you dip your paintbrush in it and you paint the numbers that was on the pot. It smells like the oil paints that you use to paint those paintings with. That's exactly what my nose is picking up. Again, it's my nose and how I'm reading it. You have to remember, everybody's sense of smell is different. There are thousands of scent receptors that carry scent from our nose to our brains. Everybody's going to read things and smell things differently. This smells like oil paint to me from the paint and by number kits that you buy in the stores and the craft stores. Um, so this one I am not a huge fan of. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean somebody else may smell something differently. They may smell this and be like, oh my God, I smell the, the Mrs. Claus cookies here. I my nose isn't picking that up it's picking up the oil paints from um a painting kit i'll probably try to warm it because things transform on warm and i don't like to just automatically say i don't like something when it's on cold um i used to do that and i learned my lesson to try it because you just never know what you're going to get this next one is Mad Hatter. I happen to like tea and cakes. So this is tea and cakes, Danish butter cookies, and sweet and creamy. So I'm thinking this could be really, really yummy. You mix, take that tea and cakes, and mix it with those, the other, the other notes here. Oh yeah, this is good. This is, uh, so absolutely picking up those Danish butter cookies with the tea and cakes. And then they're sweet and creamy. It's making it sweet and creamy. So you get that milky note. Oh, that's pretty. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to try to gently take it out. The other one's been sliding out nice and clean for me. So let's see if this one does. Don't want to break any more. Not, not that I broke them, but yeah, that pretty seal on the edge. I'm not going to do it. This is nice. You get a little lemoniness to it. It's creamy and the butter cookies, it's buttery and it's like a real, oh yeah, this is so nice. 
Yes. Beautiful tea and cakes. It's, it's pretty. This is so, oh, it's delicate. It's, it's a delicate pastry cookie. Absolutely beautiful, beautifully done. This is a beautiful blend, the Mad Hatter. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see what the next three are. Oh, it's 44 minutes. I thought, oh, I need, gotta keep this to an hour. What am I gonna learn? Okay. There's another one I was looking forward to. Okay, so we've got the next one up is called The Fog. The Fog is Beach Nights and Autumn Day. First thing I got was autumn. I don't know what's an autumn day, but I am picking up leaves and apple. Oh, geez, that's beautiful. I'm absolutely picking up leaves and apple. And then Beach Nights is there, but the star in this wax here, without a doubt, is that autumn scent. This is so pretty, you guys. I mean, it's beautiful. The apple in here is not like, it's not fresh apple. Don't think of like um, bakery apple or just a fresh cut apple. It's like, um, it's almost like a perfumey apple. Yes, like a perfumed apple note. The peel of the apple, which is less, so it's not juicy apple. It's more like the peel. So you just get this beautiful essence of apple and I'm smelling leaves you get a little bit of the saltiness from the salty sea air from that beach nights the sweetness from the marshmallow stunning this is going to again beautiful fall summer to fall transition scent you could melt this on that beautiful day, beautiful day you know, like the day the kids go back to school. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. This one here, high on my list for a reorder, a repurchase. The Fog, that is incredible. I, you know, many of these, I'm sorry I didn't do loads, but I wanted to try as many as I could all that appealed to me everything that appealed to me I wanted it so this next one is a two can't keep a secret beautiful color this is a strawberry pound cake sugar cookie royale sweet and creamy and vanilla bean marshmallow this would be something for me would be a wild. this would be a wild card for me because strawberry pound cake is I like this one. This is very nice. Absolutely. You could smell the strawberry pound cake, but it's not. What I'm finding the best way for me to describe strawberry pound cake is I find that it's usually dense, heavy, syrupy, syrupy sweet strawberry. And I don't care for that. This Again, the sugar cookie royale is pulling away from that syrup. The sweet and creamy is making it extra creamy, sweet, milky. 
the strawberry pound cake is it I'm I really like the way she's so far the ones that I the two that I've gotten and opened so far with strawberry pound cake she has blended beautifully the oils together Oh, the sugar cookie in here is so good. And you get just, you get just a hint of the strawberry here. It's really just buttery cookies, buttery, creamy sugar cookies. With a little bit of strawberry in it. Almost, I could almost smell like an icing here, like a, you know, like a strawberry icing. That's nice. I wouldn't, if I didn't like it, I, well, you would know, I would tell you. That I do, I'm enjoying that. Look forward to melting that. Without that sweet syrupy, super, super sweet syrupy, it's not. Oh yeah, the vanilla bean marshmallow, that's, I think that's where it's picking up, like, for me, it's almost picking up like a frosting. This is good. This is sweet. Very sweet. If you want a nice, sweet bakery, this would be your jam. And this is absolute sugar cookie in there is just divine. And like I said, the strawberry pound cake is there, but it's just kind of like laying low and it's perfect perfect next one Spencer oh yeah wait to hear the notes in this one very pretty color Spencer is library pink sugar and marshmallow bomb yeah okay Oh, yeah. So, the library's there. Love that scent. So, we've got this pink sugar in here. That nice sugary perfume note. And then library is taking it and kind of bringing down the perfuminess a little bit giving it more of an older elegant feel to it and that marshmallow just comes in and sweetens it all and makes it real creamy ah that's a good one absolutely stunning spencer love 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 it Okay, let's get to our next trio. And I'm going to take this opportunity to say I am going on a no-buy. Um, I went excessive in the Teddy Bees, so... I've ordered a ton of wax. I ordered another large order from Britta during their last pre-order. I've got to put a stop to it without adding anything I've recently purchased and what's coming. I have the, That stuff isn't even on the spreadsheet yet. None of this. I did two other videos last night that are not even up yet. Those are not on the spreadsheet. So far, I have just over 1,300 pieces of wax, not counting samples. I've got to put the brakes on. I'm going on a no-buy and not even a low-buy. I'm going no-buy for hopefully all of June, all of July. Um, I gotta do it, you guys. So I wanna put that out there. I've got stuff coming that hasn't even arrived yet, so that's my plan. Um, this next one is Lost Woods Resort. This one, yeah. 
I am getting... Oh, this is crackling birch. Okay, I thought this was a tree. Well, crackling birch is kind of a tree, but not a tree. I don't know. I like birch. So vanilla birch is amazing. Crackling birch is really good. Um, so Lost Woods is crackling birch by the campfire and Palo Santo. This is, oh, this is, I'm getting a little spiciness here. I'm almost picking up a cinnamon note. It is birch. There's a, there's a little smokiness here. Um, to get that campfire note. Um, I'm picking up a spice. It smells a little spicy. Oh, this is, oh, this is pretty. Again, another beauty for fall. I'm trying to get it out without making a mess. Oh, there we go. See how there's like a little edge? You know, when you take them out, they kind of break off, and I don't like that. Oh, it's woody. Oh, and it, like I said, I'm getting a spicy note. It's almost like a... Oh, cinnamony or clove-like? That blended mixed with that crackling birch in the by the campfire in the Palo Santo. It's almost... Cologne, but not quite. Almost. This is, oh. This is screaming fall. It, I mean, screaming. A cool fall night. That crispy air night. I'm loving this Lost Woods. This is Super woody. Super, super woody. It's, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Don't miss this one, you guys. If you like woody scent, fiery woody, um, hint of smokiness, just a hint. It's that campfire is there. But there's a spicy note to it. It is. It's spicy. God, that's pretty. Man, that's beautiful. Okay. You do have, I did order her Beach Nights sampler. That'll be coming at some point, too. I'm not really following the timelines. I just order, to be honest with you. I'm not that particular of, you know, when's it coming? When's it coming? I, it'll be here eventually. Okay, the next one is A Quiet Place. Um, this is roasted pine cones, pretzel, sweet and creamy, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I think this is going to be incredible. I'm telling you guys, her salty pretzel. This is unbelievable. It's a salty pretzel, and it is so good. I never knew I really liked pretzel that much. This, hers, I absolutely love it. And it's like a buttery salty pretzel. So it's like one of those salty pretzels that have been like basted with butter, like the soft pretzel. Oh my gosh, that's good. Got the roasted pine cones is there, but this is, to me, this is salty pretzel top note. That's, that's what I'm smelling first and foremost, okay? Then, oh, I don't know if this one's going to come out clean. Let me try. Oh. 
It's a buttery, salty, soft pretzel. There's a creaminess to it, but very slight. Picking up a little bit of the vanilla bean marshmallow. Oh my God, is that good. Just get that woodiness from the roasted pine cone. You guys, I hope you all picked up a quiet place. This is like, yeah, this is like mouth-watering good. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm speechless. That is so good. That pretzel is so real. And there's a sweetness there. That is just beautiful. There's a little sweetness to it. A little woodiness from the roasted pine cone. Incredible. An incredible scent. And I've always had good um, performance with British Wax. It's never been an issue for me. Um, it throws well throws a lot of scent. It's just, yeah. Britta. That pretzel. Don't lose that oil vendor. That That's a good pretzel. Okay, this next one is called Donna. And Donna is wild berry cheesecake and cornbread. I'm getting wild berry. Right away I get wild berry. There's the cheesecake, yes. So you get this wild berry cheesecake. Smells so good. Let's pop it out gently. Oh yeah. The cornbread is there. It's light. It's adding a little something different to that cheesecake note. It's kind of taking away, because cheesecake could be a little bit on the um, soury side. So the cornbread is kind of like making it more cakey like. So yeah, this is good. very different i'm really liking that what yeah I like that blend of cheesecake with the cornbread interesting the wild berry is nice it's just sweet berries um not blueberry because you know i don't do blueberry that's a scent that i if i see it in in um in a blend I'm like, oh, forget it. This is wild berry tart wild berries. It's got it. There's a tartness here. The cornbread is very nice. It's very um, authentic corn. Mmm, that one's very good. It's different. It's interesting. I can't wait to see what this warms up like. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold one second so I can answer this call. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So, we just finished up with Donna. And Donna was, just to refresh, wild berry cheesecake cornbread. Go to our next trio. Of scents. First one up is Warm Bodies. Warm Bodies is pink sugar and blue sugar, sugar cookie royale, and vanilla bean marshmallow. 
go. And it looks like I've only got 33 minutes of recording time left, so I better hurry. This is pretty. This is... Oh, that sugar cookie royale. What a beautiful oil that is. This smells like... Sugar cookies. Definitely get the sugar cookies. And that vanilla bean marshmallow. Just trying to pop it out. we go. Oh, I like that mixture of the pink and blue sugar. So you get this beautiful perfumey note, but that sweetness of the sugar cookie and the vanilla bean marshmallow, it just makes this a lovely, sweet, fragrance so it's like you get the perfume notes yes this is beautiful and it's sweet and sugary and creamy gorgeous and that is warm bodies All right, I'm just going to try to go a little faster now so I could beat this clock here. I don't know why I did remove the videos from my phone, so I'm not sure why I've only got 33 minutes left. Okay. Then we've got It's Immortality, my darling. Summer Scoop, Vanilla Waffle Cone, and Whipped Cream. I like Summer Scoop. It is strawberry ice cream, and it's so good. Absolutely love it. This is the strawberry I enjoy. This is that freshly picked strawberries that are sliced up or just come out of the freezer, the ones you, you buy frozen ones in the bag, and they warm to room temperature, and all that juicy comes out. Maybe just a sprinkle of sugar to sweeten them a bit. This smells like a scoop of strawberry ice cream. Honest to God, and it is so very, very good. Let's see, I'm going to take it out. Oh my God, it's so good. Getting a little bit of that waffle cone there. It's like an ice cream scoop of strawberry ice cream in a waffle cone with a little bit of swirl of whipped cream on it. Basically, it is strawberry ice cream and it is so very good. So, so good. Ep oh my God, that's incredible. Incredible. But... I like Summer Scoop. I know there are some people who don't, and they probably don't buy it. So, based on that side note, but this is delicious. It's like, oh. <coughs> or a strawberry sundae. It's like vanilla ice cream with the strawberries poured on top. <gasps> it is so good. So good. Next one is Ezra. I, am, I should have got this in a loaf. I know I should have gotten a loaf. It is library jelly donut and pretzel. Oh. oh my God, it's so good. Oh, getting that pretzel and I'm getting library. Not picking up jelly donut. Let's see. I'm gonna pop this out. Okay. A little bit of jelly donuts there. Very subtle though. It's not super light. This is predominantly library in that 
amazing salty soft pretzel with that library oh the library kind of is a little perfuminess to it <sighs> wish i could smell the jelly donut more it's super super light however these were just poured i mean this was poured 516 today's only the uh 27th today is 27th i don't know i don't even know what day it is so it's only been a couple weeks Oh, that library. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, that one is amazing. Could use a little more jelly donut. I'm missing the jelly donut there. However, it needs some cure time, very likely. And um, it may come out when it's warm. That's very possible. Okay, next trio. This is the last trio. After this, I've got three loaves. I know what two of them are. Maybe I bought doubles of one note. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay. First one up is Red Coat. Red Coat is Almond Biscotti, Cherry Mist, Sweet and Creamy, and Marshmallow Bomb. This is going to be incredible. I already know it. Uh, yeah, I just know. And it is. It. Mm. Cherry is a beautiful cherry. It's not medicinal. It's just a nice cherry note. You get the almond biscotti. Almond and cherry kind of mimic each other. So it's like a beautiful cherry almond scent. It's creamy. The marshmallow adds so much like um creaminess to it this is incredible absolutely love this I love it and I'm spilling wax all over me <laughs> that cherry it's cherry almond it's just a beautiful cherry almond cookie and then it's you add the creaminess to it so it's a creamy cherry almond cookie Oh, it almost smells like a cookie my sister makes. That's stunning. I don't like racing the clock like this. It makes me nervous. Okay, this next one is called Assigned A. I'm really, really excited for this one. This is pretzel, cornbread, and Thai sticky rice. I can't even imagine what that smells like. Oh, this is really different. Okay, give me a minute. I want to sit with this a bit. Get the pretzel note there. However, it's not as strong as all the other pretzel ones. So I've got salty pretzel. It's almost like a a honey. Is that what that is? What is Thai sticky rice? Is that honey? It's sweet. It's like a sticky sweet. The cornbread is giving it that more bready note on top of the pretzel. So it's a very bready, salty bready little sweetness from the corn but I'm really picking up like a like a honey drizzle this is so different so different so unique oh that's wonderful oh 
This one's a must try. Grab yourself a sample if she's got some shapes of it. If you ever see it in her little ghosties or skulls, give it a try. This is really different and sweet, like honey sweet or a caramelized sugar or I don't know. It's really good. Then we got the jackal. Right up my alley. Why didn't I get this in a loaf? The jackal is tobacco and bay, vanilla ice cream, and bourbon sauce. Oh my gosh. You guys. It's creamy tobacco leaves. A little spiciness. I'm thinking it may be coming from the bourbon sauce. The sweetness in here from probably the vanilla ice cream. You get that bay leaf. Unbelievable. Now, don't... Mind you, this isn't like a sweet, yummy, oh, I want a sundae. No, it's just, that tobacco is incredible. This is loaf worthy. If you like those earthy tobacco scents, the bourbon in here is exquisite. It's adding a spicy note to it. It's, mm, and then, that tobacco is to die for. Wow. Wow. Loaf worthy, 100%. I've got like 17 minutes. Okay. I am done with the souffles. I'm going to open up all three of these loaves quickly. I'm sure I know what two of them are. I may have duplicated one of them because it's amazing. These make me super happy. Probably of all of British scents that I've tried and I've I'm pretty much love them all. These here by far are my favorite. This is something that, yep, I got a duplicate of one of them. Something I don't ever want to be out without. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I forgot about that one. Whoa. Okay. By far the best. Incredible. I've got 10 minutes. The Exorcist. You guys, this is patchouli, palo santo, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I got to tell you, it is incredible. It is earthy. It's earthy patchouli. Woody Palo Santo. The va vanilla bean marshmallow just makes it a little creamy. Not creamy, a little bit sweet. It adds a little sweetness to it. That's the word I'm looking for. And when you melt this, oh, uh, the whole house smells just, it's almost sexy. I, I, I know that's a strange way, but there's something, it's gritty. It's very, it's a gritty scent and it's, it's just to die for. This blend here, the Exorcist is hands down one of my top one, two, three fragrances from Brita. It's 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 incredible. The next one. You know what? I am going to pause you one more time because I don't want to take away from these three because they are my favorites and I think they are a testament to Brita. And I want to talk about them a little bit. So I am going to stop the video here. I'm going to get the videos off my phone onto my computer and I will record the remainder of these three scents. 
All right, guys, I'm back. That turned out to be easier than I thought it was because before I started recording this video, I uploaded the videos that I did last night to my computer to make room. And I thought I deleted them, but I didn't remove them from the trash. So, yeah, we had trash hanging out here. Okay. Let's go back to The Exorcist, okay? It, for me, this scent is everything. If you like those earthy, gritty scents, that's The Exorcist. This is not um, a perfumey patchouli. It is patchouli in its raw form. Um, the Palo Santo is smoky and woody. The vanilla bean marshmallow in here just takes the edge off the patchouli and the palo. So it makes it more, um, I don't want to say it sweetens it because it doesn't sweeten it. It just takes the edge off. This scent is like picture a biker chick. Um, but she's raw, she's gritty, she's confident, she's sexy, she's beautiful, um, but she's tough. And she's a little rough around the edges, and she commands, you know, attention. When she gets off that bike and walks into the room, that's what her house is going to smell like. It's going to smell like The Exorcist. It's phenomenal. Hands down, these, these, these three fragrances here that I'm going to talk about, for me, are Britta's finest moment. Yeah. These scents are just, they're everything to me. I just, I absolutely love them and I know I just I got one loaf of exorcist because I've got quite a few skulls and stuff hanging out over here in my Brita box and yeah this is uh. so the next one is the exorcist sister and this is going to be Baba Shook Baba Shook is patchouli sugar cookie royale Sweet and creamy in vanilla bean marshmallow. Oh, uh, yeah. So, this one is sweet. This one is. Oh, uh, yeah. This is just beautiful. So, we've taken the patchouli out now. And we just have. I mean, not the, we've taken the Palo Santo out, and now we've just left patchouli there, and we paired up the patchouli with Sugar Cookie Royale in addition to the Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. So this is like the Exorcist little sister, okay? She's still sweet. She's still young. She aspires to be what her older adult sister is. That gritty, um, sexy, beautiful woman who's rough around the edges, commands attention. But she wants to keep her sweetness about her. She doesn't want to be as tough as her big sister on her motorcycle. I can just picture this girl. She's got like black leather on. She's got like, you know, she, she's a brick house, you know what I mean? And 
yeah, I picture this woman, long, flowing, dark hair, just, this is her little sister, but her little sister wants still to remain a little bit, she wants to keep her, a bit of her femininity to her. So this is patchouli, and it's still that nice, raw patchouli, that gritty patchouli, but you add that sugar cookie royale and the vanilla bean marshmallow, and it's sweet. It's just a sweet patchouli scent. By far, it's my favorite. One of my these are, these are my top three. I'm giving you right now. Okay, so that's Baba Shook. And she's amazing. Amazing. The next one is Mornings at Crystal Lake. This is Coffee Addiction, Barnwood, and Fire Roasted Marshmallow. It is so good. Oh my God. Okay. For anybody who's a coffee lover. There's lots of vendors out there that I love their coffee. You know, they're phenomenal coffee blends. I have quite a few that I'm just, they're fantastic. But this one here. This one here is the whole the whole vibe you are sitting on you're in a cabin and camping say in in the wilderness and you're sitting on that porch it's a little bit it's in the morning and you got that crispness in the air that little bit just a little bit of a chill so maybe you're just wrapped up in a blanket and you got a hot cup of steaming coffee under your nose here you know, just keeping it close because, you know, it's chilly. And you need a rustic wooden um, rocker. Just rocking away with your coffee. If you smoke, you're smoking. Nah, no, nah, because that'll take away that nasty smell. Take away from your coffee. So you're just rocking away, enjoying your morning. The sun's coming up. The birds are chirping. And you're in this wooden log type cabin. And you got... The deck made out of barn wood. Maybe your chair is made out of barn wood. And so you could smell that beautiful woody scent. And you got this cup of coffee. And it's just like coming up your nose. And, you know, you had a fire the night before. And you're still reminiscent of that campfire coming. And then the cream little bit of cream in your coffee not a lot just a little bit coming from that marshmallow you you you're feeling my my story here it is everything this is just these three scents here are to me are Britta's crowning achievement I, oh my god this is so good. I could close my eyes and I could visualize everything I just said to you. Just like I saw it in a movie. It is hands down the best coffee vibe ever. It's just incredible. It's incredible. And I could just, I could melt these three scents for months and nothing else and be happy. This coffee is just, it's everything, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. It, mornings on Crystal Lake. Really. If they're on her website. If you ever, if you ever see these three cents on her website, do yourself a favor. Uh, providing you're gonna have to like patchouli, okay? 
that's it's not a scent for everyone but if you like patchouli and you like coffee pick it up whether it be a shape um a souffle the souffle is you know you not a lot it's just it's just a souffle it's, grab it you just you i'm telling you these are just so good i am so happy right now i can't even tell you how happy i am to have these three cents in loaves i just i am over the moon happy so so happy um yeah this was a fantastic pre-order i pretty much love every single cent I think there was the one, the one I said, I just, that didn't jive with me. Um, but I try, yeah, I don't even know how to pick a favorite. Um, I just dropped one on the floor somewhere. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I, I, I can't, oh, this London fog right here. Incredible. Oh my God, that is just beautiful. These are gonna get added to my spreadsheet. I always put notes in my spreadsheet so that I know and I'll highlight ones that I'm specifically looking forward to buy again. Um, the Jackal was just incredible. It was the tobacco and bay scent with the vanilla ice cream and the bourbon sauce. You guys, I, yeah. I am over the moon with this order. I'm so very excited. I yeah, I yeah. I'm excited. This was a this was a phenomenal order. I'm even now I'm even more excited to get the pre-order that I just placed. Was it last week, I think? And yeah, this is yeah. Brit is a fantastic she's got a great mind for different things her, her stuff is different as you could tell from a lot of the notes I, I read off to you she she takes that leap of faith and blends things that are like why would you put that with that and it works it just works so I'm gonna put the link in my description box for Britta's creepy treasures Facebook group I would highly suggest following there because You'll get to know what people are melting, what they're loving, what they're not loving, um, which is very little. I mean, she's got great stuff. Um, when her pre-orders are coming, when they're going to happen, what's going to be on it. Um, yeah, so I highly suggest joining the Facebook group. I will also put a link to her um, website because you will find stuff on the website. She does throw stuff in there, you know, little ghosties and stuff like that. So you could pick up smaller things, you know, to try out, give her a try. Um, yeah, so that's my pre-order. I was supposed to warm my, what I've been warming. My basket's like full, I'm trying to cram stuff in it. Um, I'm not gonna have time tonight. Um, yeah, this, I don't even know when this will be uploaded. Sometime later in the week. I did two videos last night. I think I'm probably only going to upload one of them. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I'll have some things uploaded soon. And I've got more stuff coming from pre-orders and whatnot that I've done. I don't know when they'll be arriving quite yet. So, because they've they all kind of came at once. So, in the meantime, I do plan on... Because I've said it, I don't know how many times I've said I was going to do it, and I haven't done it yet. I am going to film my entire um, Sassy Girl Aroma collection, um, and as time goes on, because like I said, I'm going on a no-buy. I have to do it. I have to. Uh, maybe I'll start pulling other collections to show what I've got in them, and yeah so that's what I've got and that's where I'm going 
So I hope you all have a great night, a great week. Um, whenever you happen to be watching, weekend, I don't know when this is going up. So anyway, I want to thank you again so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Um, trying to grow this channel and um, yeah so share tell your wax friends about me um, even though I'm not gonna be doing any current hauls I've got a lot of stuff behind me plenty of videos to watch that I have hauled and um, lots of stuff so anyway I'm gonna sign off for now and we will chat again real soon thanks again bye bye